My name is Kyle Bombardier. I'm the SEO manager here at iMarket Solutions. And today I'm going to be covering some weekly SEO product updates. The main thing we're going to cover today is just the, the May 2020 core algorithm update that Google launched just a couple of days ago. Uh, talk about what it is, what does it mean? Uh, we'll also talk about what can you do. So this is actually the second core update that Google has made to the algorithm in 2020. Uh, the first one was back in January. Um, and interestingly enough, they're providing the same type of resources, the same information um, that they did in January uh, here in May. So the official post from Google um, was created on Twitter. And the article which they referenced in the post, again, was the exact same article they referenced back in January. So what I wanted to do today was talk a little bit more about that. Uh, it's pretty clear that these concepts and these ideas and theories that they're using when they update their core algorithm you know, is going to be baked into future core updates as well. So these are some of the main kind of components or the main buckets of what they're looking at um, as they do core updates. So the first is content and quality questions. So they're trying to figure out, you know, is the content high quality? Is it unique? Is it offering user value? Um, you know, and, and they want to reward websites that are providing user value, that are providing high quality, unique, relevant content. Um, expertise question. So, you know, was the content written by an industry expert? Um, presentation and production questions. You know, is the content free from spelling, stylistic errors? You know, if you visit the website or web page on a mobile phone, does it load correctly as it does on a desktop? You know, really just focusing on the overall user experience of somebody visiting that web page. And then lastly, comparative questions. You know, does this website offer substantial value when compared to other pages and search results? A good way to, to do this is actually look at your site compared to a competitor um, and think about from the user perspective, you know, which one does offer more value? Which one offers you know, more guarantees? Which one do you trust more? And so these are some of the general concepts that Google has baked into their core updates. You know, the actual impact on the industry, you know, this is, uh, this is a, a program that we use to evaluate the volatility of search results. And you can see since Google made the algorithm update, there has been a, a pretty big influx in volatility. Uh, in all honesty, this is expected. Anytime Google changes the algorithm, anytime they release an update, we do expect to see a higher level of volatility, uh, especially uh, immediately following the update. So what I would recommend you know, everybody does is, is really just um, you know, take kind of the wait and see approach. It, it's really not a great idea to make rash decisions or, or major updates to a website after core updates happen. Um, it's really a, an effective um, strategy to wait a couple of weeks, wait for the dust to settle, and then start to evaluate you know, how your site's performing in terms of keyword rankings, traffic, and leads. Um, if you have iMarket and we're offering the, the digital brand management and SEO services, you know, our team is going to be tracking your site's performance like a hawk. Uh, one month after the January core update, uh, the average client saw a 4% increase in organic rankings. And that's a lot because you know, what we're doing is really following all of Google's quality guidelines. Um, we're, we're really sticklers for uh, you know, the rules, for the guidelines, for the recommendations they're making. And oftentimes, when a core update happens, you know, our clients do end up seeing a positive gain in terms of visibility and performance. Um, so if you're, you know, if you have iMarket and we're offering SEO, you know, we're more than happy to talk to you about the overall site's performance, you know, how you're doing um, since this update. But we definitely would recommend waiting a couple of weeks, you know, waiting for the, the dust to settle on it. Um, if you're working with another provider or if you're managing SEO in-house, um, definitely would recommend taking a look at these three components, you know, rankings, traffic, and leads, just to see if your website was affected by this core update. Um, so those were you know, the major things I wanted to cover. You know, obviously, whenever Google releases a major update like this, you do expect there to be questions. Uh, please do reach out to your marketing coordinator if you do have any questions whatsoever. Um, if you're not a current iMarket client and you want to learn more about SEO, digital brand management, and some of the other digital marketing services we offer, just head on over to iMarketSolutions.com, fill out the free consultation, and we'll be in touch with you shortly. I just want to thank everybody for tuning into this video. Again, my name is Kyle Bombardier. I'm the SEO manager here at iMarket Solutions, and look forward to talking with you soon.